Filippo is live at the LA Auto Show, and he is with the CEO of Mercedes-Benz US. Phil, take it away. Thank you, David. Dietmar Exler, who is the CEO of Mercedes-Benz US. We'll talk a little bit about the, the president and his policies and his stance uh, in terms of EVs, tax policy, et cetera. I want to talk first about the GLE. Um, you guys unveiling this SUV. The luxury SUV market is getting more competitive than ever, isn't it? It is. First of all, thanks for having me, Phil. Always a pleasure to be with you. Uh, there are two trends actually going on in the auto industry, in the luxury industry in the U.S. The one is the trend to SUVs. We're up to 65% in the luxury side. And the other one is the trend to digitalization, electronic interfaces that make the life of the consumer just easier. And with the all-new GLL, GLE, sorry, we're hitting it in both dimensions. It's a truck that design-wise and technology-wise is fantastic. By the way, built since 1997 in the U.S. in Alabama. <laughs> and it has an all-new electronic interface with MBUX that learns from you based on artificial intelligence. So it, 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 we are very excited. You know, we were market. down at your plant in yeah. Alabama. And one of the things we talked about down there has to do with the policy in terms of importing vehicles. And yeah. just a few minutes ago, the president sent out a tweet much of the tweet was regarding yeah. his thoughts on General Motors, um, but one of the things he wrote in his tweet was, the countries that send us cars have taken advantage of the U.S. for decades. The president has great power on this issue. Because of the GM event, it is being studied now. Mercedes-Benz imports its sedans yeah. from Europe. Yeah. If they raise the tariff there, how much will that hurt your sales? Well, that would depend on you know, how tariffs are, you know, what are going up, what's going to happen here. As we know, the EU commissioner is in Washington today, yep. and they're sitting together and negotiating. And I hope, you know, that sound reason prevails and they both come to a good solution for both economies in the spirit, you know, of free trade that helps economies both in the European Union and here in North America to grow. Are you worried, as the person in charge of sales in the U.S., that there will be these tariffs? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not worried about it. There's... I don't know what the siren is about. You know, <laughs> We're I'm not, not having a fire drill yet, no, but something's going no, on. No, no, no. I'm not worried you know, about the tariffs. I worry about the things that I can control and focus on them. And on the other areas, it's too early to say which way it goes. Quickly want to ask you about EV tax credits because yeah. there's some discussion in Washington. Look, just scrap them all together. If you take $7,500 away from an incentive for somebody to buy an electric vehicle from Mercedes-Benz, mm -hmm. how much does that hurt your sales? That depends, again, on how convincing the product is. Obviously, it's currently in the form of a tax credit, so it's really a 7,500 deduction. And it depends how convincing the product is. In the luxury side, it would affect us less than it would affect, you know, uh, vehicles in the mass market side. But you've been to China. You've, you know what's going on yeah. in Europe as well. If we take that away in the United States, does the U.S. fall further behind the rest of the world developing electric vehicles? Mm, there, there is a chance, you know, but I don't think it's too big because the trend to electric vehicle is on the rise. It's going to come. And the automotive companies, we just, we will all continue to invest and build the electric capabilities. Quickly, give me your perspective on industry sales for 2019. Do we pull back? We might pull back just slightly. We're going to stay around 17 million, maybe a hair below, still a very, very good level. It's going to be a little bit more competitive, but that has always been the game of our industry, as competitive, you know, as can be. Dietmar Exler, the CEO of Mercedes-Benz USA. Thank you. On a day when they unveiled a new GLE. Guys, back to you.